Praise the Lord. I am trusting God that tutaweza kuweza kuingia kwa neno. Tuweze kupata zaidi kile Mungu anataka siku ya leo. So nakukaribisha yetu kwa leo. May the Lord bless you for coming and uh, before we begin I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God it can only be you that made us to meet here. It is only you even now. We are giving ourselves to you, my Father. Lord, let this meeting not be like any other meeting. For you always come in your name. The Lord, as we begin to minister, that your word will cause us to begin to enter into dimensions. Let every person presented here today, O oh God, leave this place with something. Raise our lungs, even in the Spirit, God. That we become better commanders in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, take over from the beginning even to the end. In the spirit that scatters people's minds, the powers of darkness that the devil sends to distract people, to cause slumber, to steal people's concentration, I rebuke them and bind them in Jesus' name. Let them not function in this hall at all. Every person here, oh Father, speak to us as it pleases you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's have our seats. to get to that point that now allows you to, to 
express as God intends you, you know, to express yourself in the world. We're in a world that is full of battles, yes. We are in a world that is full of resistance. We are in a world that is not generous, if I may say, that you must fight. You must fight to get that which you really wish to get. Hallelujah. And battles are not the same. There are many things that comprise what can make you to win in this life. Among the things that add to that is what we call your spiritual rank. We are all ranked differently. It is, it is true that salvation is for us all. And we appear in the eyes of the Lord equal. Has his children being the bottom line. But on top of that, people appear differently when it comes to ranking and how much command God has given them. But it is the will of God and this desire that every believer rises to a level of command where you have the ability and the capacity to command things so that they can function according to the plan and the will of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you see people succeeding, don't think it became like that accidentally. One day I asked people here in church that if you take 100 millionaires and ask them, how many of you millionaires became millionaires or billionaires because you won a lottery. You might even find now the, the probability in a hundred rich men even in the city of maybe they could a lot of maybe they could have put pesa with a shanga sun. But they will give you a testimony. They will talk to you things how they have rebelled and how they used to to wake up and refuse to be disappointed and refuse to be discouraged. Praise the Lord. You think when you see people doing things is because they have not been discouraged one time? No. People have been disappointed. People have been discouraged. People have been frustrated. By the, but they did not take that one for an answer. Praise the Lord. And do you know God rewards hard work? God will always reward people who work hard. Spiritual ranking is very, very important, brethren, to understand this. What is a rank? A rank is a position in the hierarchy. It is a position of dignity. It's a position in a certain hierarchy. And if you don't know or if you didn't know, the physical world has Hierarchies. It operates with hierarchies. I don't know how you mentioned it. I was brought up in the village. The spiritual world also has hierarchies. And the, and the hierarchies are different. Maybe you might ask, Pastor Ken, why are you teaching us about the hierarchies? Hierarchies are steps or levels. Levels of command, levels of authority, levels of power. I can see police officers in our midst. They are understanding this better than anybody else here. Because that is the way the force operates. They operate with hierarchies and commands. Now, Pastor Ken, why are you saying this? It's because if you become a Christian who doesn't know that there is also the rising into a higher rank, you'll be the kind of a person who will get saved, keep quiet, wait for Jesus to come and go to heaven. It is true you'll get to heaven, but you'll, you'll get to heaven as a very disadvantaged person who did not really do what was supposed to be done. There, there, there are levels of wealth and prosperity that you are supposed to conquer that you'll not be able to 
to, to, to leave the impact because you did not understand how to climb the rank. There are levels of, you know, captivity that you make people to live in because some people seated here, you are the, the only hope of your family, whether you know it or not. You, you might not know it, but you could be the only person now remaining to help your family. If you discover your rank and that you can rise higher, it is to your advantage. Praise the Lord. So, I want to shift you from normal salvation to the salvation that seeks to rise and have command. Are we together? Yes. Sometimes you have seen people that probably look like they are supermen and you wonder, what do people do to behave like these people and we are saved the same way? They might not know it, but somehow the way they live their lives, there is a way they raise their ranking. And you know, whenever you climb a, a rank, you begin, you, you command a bigger domain. You know, you, you command a bigger, a bigger area. Sorry to use this and I'm not using it to, to diminish anyone. But there's a time we left the church here with my wife and my sister really was with me. So I, I went showing my wife how to drive the car. So I was telling her, why don't you get used to this machine? And we got to some place along Doresho and she stopped all of a sudden and somehow blocked the road. Although it was not that blocked. Little did I knew that there was an OCS in another big car there that was uh, a product type of a car who was behind us and he called he called ahead of us and said there is this car okay, this 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 and they are misbehaving they are blocking the road everywhere so I don't know can you can you do what you know how to do it best by the time we were appearing somewhere else to catch the Wayaki way I saw a car that came and the, the rights were on and I'm going to give you a little bit of 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 a So when they came, they asked the driver, I'm going to go and 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 I'm going to go to drive the car. Akasema, are you an instructor? Nikomambia, no, me, I'm just a driver. Do you know what you are doing is wrong? Nikasema, well, we want to resume my garage to resume my garage and familiarize. Sasa, atajua kuedesha. Limi, nikaona sababu tumetoka jata, my pastor. Tuende, mahali, hakuna watu wedi, diwa zoe. So, but because a higher authority had commanded them to arrest us, whether they wanted to forgive us or not, it was now not possible. Because the OCS said, I want to find those guys in the station. I had to borrow a higher rank. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I told him, we have been arrested here. I was trying to familiarize my wife with the... And we are arrested here. And then he told me, can you give me the, the booth in that station? My sister is here, she can tell you. And I started asking, who is the most senior person in this station? <laughs> Hallelujah. Have you ever felt like you want to speak in tongues? <laughs> so when I went to the guy who was in plain clothes, he told me, I'm not the one. Is this that person standing there? Give him. I told him, can you talk to this, with this fool? So he told me, I don't know what, but he told me. Actually, he was even unable to give me the license. He gave the other guy to me, go and give him. And I went to say, I'm not a sister, I'm not a father. The case was settled. Let me tell you something. The more you climb the ranking in the spirit, the more you get advantage of command. There are things they might have been commanded to follow a generational line. But when you rise, you stop that generational pattern. Praise the Lord. You can find in a family where people think they are awfulish. It can be a stronghold. 
It takes somebody who shall rise high. And let me tell you, the spiritual ranking that I'm talking about is not what you get from Bible school. I'm talking about something that you must work and function with God so that you can begin to rise. Now, when that thing happened, we got into our car, and our car was a small one. We just left very peacefully. And I said, my God, I think this is what happens in the realms of the spirit. Now, in Ephesians 6, 12, Paul is helping us to understand that there are ranks in the spirit. Because he's, he's actually the only man in the New Testament who helped us to understand how the realm of darkness looks like and how they carry each other in terms of hierarchies. Because he said that Ephesians 6, 12, he says, for we wrestle not, yeah, it's the one, against flesh and blood. Listen, let's rest, sorry. And there are people here who are less sorry. Some of the less sorry you are doing at workplace. Actually, the problem is not that boss. <laughs> you, need, you can climb a higher rank and you change the results. Praise the Lord. He says that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Let me tell you, if there is somebody that God gave the grace to really understand the realm of the spirit and what happens there, no wonder he was so effective when they came to spiritual warfare. It is Apostle Paul. Because the way he defines the realm of the spirit and how the battles take place, this tells you this is not a man who is doing guesswork. There is somebody graced of the Lord. He says that we let him not against flesh and blood. Because when he saw it, he did not see it like an imagination. <clears throat> when he saw it from the realm of the spirit, he saw a real battle. I'm sure most of you are familiar with rest. Sorry, I don't watch it, but I used to watch it. You see how that battle is. How people drop each other down. You know, there is a difference between fighting and wrestling. Fighting is this one. But wrestling is where you, you grab somebody and make sure the person will fall down and remain down. Now, this is how spirits fight. Demonic forces fight to put you down and you remain down. And you are not the one. In Jesus' name. Amen. That is how they do it. So if you find yourself like there is something that puts you down and you are still there, you don't want to rise, even the energy that makes people to rise, you don't know where it comes from, you are just there lamenting. A demon less sold you. But if you are rising, then you know that. God is also able to, to save your life and rescue you. So, Paul is saying that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That is a rank. Principality is a name representing a rank. Are we together? Hey, may God give you understanding because I know I'm speaking things. Na ukisikia kama usingizi kanakuja wakati kama wewe ujue hapa ni pale shetani atakanga usikie. Kabisa. These are some of the things that the devil would never even want you to to know and even to understand. There are principalities. We just know about against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness in the name of rulers against spiritual wickedness in high places. Those are ranks. And ranks behave differently. A man of God by the name Daniel, grace of God, helped us to understand how principalities look like. And as he was praying, I'll mention that, more about that later. 
That is how he was able to even invoke the ministry of angels. Because the battle that he was fighting, it required a backup from heaven. Praise the Lord. He wanted his, his brothers and sisters to, to leave Babylon. Leaving Babylon was not about opening a gate and saying, go out. Now, if that was the case, the principality that Daniel came to understand about would not have been visible. Meaning their captivity was more than a gate being closed. Are we together? It was beyond just a gate and a wall. There was a force behind it. Remember one time we learned about Nehemiah when he was raising the, the wall. And we saw one of the guys, I don't know, some barats, or Tobias, one of them. He said, will they even sacrifice? I remember I told you this. If you fight with an enemy who is speaking that language, that is not a simple enemy. An enemy, a demon that knows about sacrifice, then that is not an easy spirit. Why could they, he asked, will they even be able to sacrifice? Meaning, the rebuilding of the wall of Jerusalem was not just a mansion and the other foodies and concrete and and the cement mixed together and ballast, doing ballast and, and putting it up. There was also a spiritual dimension in it that required somebody who was ready to engage the realm of the spirit. And that is why we see the person who went to rebuild it, this is Nehemiah, he used to pray and act. And he never prayed and failed to act and he never acted without now, you see, there are battles that the way you approach them because you saw a door closed. That, would, that is just a very small portion of what, of the kind of a door that is, big, that is closed. It's, it's just a small one. No wonder sometimes there are things you pray for that look normal, but somehow a supernatural dimension takes place and the things begin to happen. It means whatever was knocking them was not just the natural thing that you see. Are we together? So Paul is helping us to understand that there are ranks in the realm of the spirit. And if there are ranks in the realm of the spirit, why are ranks there? Ranks represent different powers and different authorities. Ranks represent responsibilities. They represent what you can do and what you cannot do. You see? Now, this should make you as a servant of God, as a child of God, to understand that the word that sometimes you say, I buy demons in the name of Jesus, is beyond that confession. There is more. Praise the Lord. There is more. So when you fight with this understanding, you'll be able to see the kind of an enemy that you are dealing with. You are fighting with your, with your understanding already open. You are not like a foolish person who is fighting without understanding. It's like, I have given this many times as an example. For instance, Mukora Akude, alafu usikia mana moja, tu, uduki meripuka. Alafu we utoke na rumu. Is a bit of a banana. A banana. I'm not a policeman, but those ones who are here, I know they can tell you. Put a bit of another who's here, scared you, 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 very puka, was ever to do to Padrisha in Gan. Easy, Sahara Sima to Padrisha, he had to a son. Give this as in here, either a kidney, could a good mother of Kiko, and a good boy effective. This is Kiko to a night to a way, and a small Moku governor to a Zoya, and I to a nanny. And that's a I complain you could I give you a sema ten at Messikia who looks to you in I'm by your seat, see, 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 see,
the things that you go through. See your life. See your family. See the patterns of things that bring you down. See the resistance that you've experienced in things. So, ranks are there. So, a rank represents a power. It represents a certain authority level of execution of authority. And that is why I've told you, when I called a higher rank, the other ranks were divided. You know, they, they, they. It's like when you have a doctorate and you are applying for a job, do you need to produce a standard aid certificate? See, your rank here is the memory of the prices you give See, Dio, listen. When we understand these things, then we know what we should do. We will begin to live like effective believers who do, do, do not do guesswork when it comes to the way we approach this Christianity and the battles that we see. Sometimes joblessness for a long time is not just the absence of a job. This is what I am saying. Oh yes. Sometimes it's not the absence of a job. No. Sometimes it's the absence of the, the correct tool and application of that warfare. Because you can be hired sometimes in a place where you don't even have the papers that talk about you. We have seen people doing that. Praise the Lord. We were in the morning reading about the story of Esther and Mordecai. Which degree did Mordecai have? Yet he understood what was happening in the state house. And he called Esther who used to stay in the state house and she didn't know what is happening. Actually, wakati Esther aliona amejifunika mangunia na pikiwa na ripoti. Ya, aliingia isiri kutofuta botik. And then mubatia Mordecai ishuti. Mordecai ya kayangaria na mwaza wa sabu musichana shida ni nini sasa. Na ili muka wafona ni anakai kuru. Shida siyo ngunia. Ni kwa sababu kuna vita tuna tunanjaribu kuengiji hapa. Sisi ya tuna shida ya nguo. Unaona ranki yake pale pamoja na kuwa ni watchman ni kupa kuliko yule ya kuhikuru kama princess. Praise the Lord. Yes. There are things she he can understand and see. No, no answer could devise a strategy. Ya vini watafaumu. Na tunama yo strategy kifanya kazi. Isifike wakati mtu wa mungu ufikiri ya kwamba maombi ya dao na umbanga ya kwamba hakuna kitu inafanyanga. My friend, the day you stop praying those prayers as little as they are, ndi utakua kwa ni jana mwili kwa mejipanga. Continue pushing it. Praise the Lord. Now, there's another senior man who is a commander here in Kenya. And one time I saw his videos on YouTube. Billy had challenged a certain governor. He said, I'm going to go to the governor. I'm going to go to the governor. Na mimi nikajiuliza kwani kwani polisi kuna nguvu aje anaweza simamisha ngaba na akiwa kwake asiingie pande hii nyingine nikashindwa hii the police is a big man so when i sat down with that man is my friend nikamuliza how did you manage to stop so and so and the way we know him is can you kill somebody na yule anasimamisha hapo na maaskari wake akaniambia ya kwanza mimi nimesomea hii kitu akanitajia hapa na hivi na hivi na hivi so i also know how to fight psychological warfare before we come physical at kwanza anaanza kutoa mtu ngazi zake psychologically anamweka chini sasa akaniambia hivyo ndivyo alianza kuifanya at hiyo haiko inahitaji confrontation physical it was very far from that kwanza alianza kudimoti ku, 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 ku yeye whichever he was digging this dude ni aje lakini akaona akiameshuka kwa gari yake amekuja bahari yako akaniambia the fact that now he left his car to come where i was i knew i have won the war i was trying to run spiritual warfare as he was giving me that story when you rise higher 
God puts you, puts you on you to command more. And that is what even happens in the force. The, the higher you rise, the more you command. The higher you rise, the more you command. Praise the Lord. Another thing that helps us to understand that there are ranks in the spirit is what happens especially when somebody is possessed with demons. The Bible says in Matthew 12, 43 from verses 12, 43 to 45 that when an unclean spirit goes out of a man na hii mani naongewa hapa si mani ya mwanaume msije mtakuzona mapepo tu inatoka kwa men hii ni man inasimamia male and female he goes through places seeking rest and finds none now you see hii ni pepo ambayo imeondoka wakati una unashinda roho fulani si lazima iwe ni mupia likemea akasema toka lakini kuna vile unaweza ishi katika maisha yako ukawa umenyima nafasi mapepo kutawara mambo ambayo yanohusiana na maisha yako especially kama umepanda hizo ranks tunasema ndivyo inakupatia more you know freedom in life lakini kama wewe utakuwa mkristo wasiwasi wa kusema Yesu alikuwa msalabani tu imetosha mimi nakwambia hii wakofu unaita wakofu hii kuja kanisa unaita kanisa haitakuwa na tofauti na mtu ambaye alienda kutembea mahali nyingine. Tofauti itakuwa unaitwa Mkristo lakini kuna mamlaka inakosa. Na Mungu ametuita tukue watu wa mamlaka. Ndio maana hata Yesu alisema all power and authority has been given to me. Go you therefore. So he released us with an ordination of power. We were not released as weaklings to go and suffer. Praise the Lord. He says that when that unclean spirit goes out, it goes to through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none. Then he says, Ndio roho ikikemewa, ikianza kuzunguka, ipata kila mtu ameokoka vizuri, itashindwa kuingia ndani ya mtu. Kwa hivyo inaenda kutafuta nani amekaa vibaya. Nani anaamini laana zara katika hii family nianze kujenga hapa. No. Nani amefanya usharati jana? Ni nianze ku, ku, kuingia hapa. Nani anjatupu? Nani inaanza kutafuta? Nani alikuwa kwa muganga? Nani amefa... You know? So it says to itself, I will return to my house from which I came. And when Yesu alisema hii mambo. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, swept and put in order. Now, why is it clean? The place where the devil was living. It is because the spirit of God took over. And this person now was going to church. This person now was giving the tithe. This person now was a worshiper. This person now was, you know, singing to God. This person started preaching. This person started having mercy on the poor. This person started doing the works of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is directing this person. And there is no way the Holy Spirit will direct a person and then you want that. Are we together? That is why it defines it clean, swept, and put in order. Meaning, before that, the, 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 the thing had disorganized it. No wonder when somebody is operating and the demons you disorganized, dirty, there's no order. I mean, Unapata ndugu yako mnaimuona panga tukatane inakosea kidogo. Mke wake anaona utamaliza mtu yake na yeye anaenda kuchukua uma. Yaani disorganized. Mtu anakuendea hivi. Huyu akisikia challenge hata mimi najua kutembea wacha nikatafute mganga mwingine hapa wapi. I mean mambo. But when it comes because mtu aliokoka akawachana hizo vitu inapatanga mahali pazuri. Sasa ikikuja hiyo pepo Biblia inasema verse 45 he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself now more wicked tells you those are demons of a higher rank it goes for a higher rank 
in the force wakati kanisa kulipuka bomu kanisa ilikuwa inaitwa kanisa what university ama hata hapa westgate watu wa kwanza kutumwa walikuwa policemen you know the force is trained differently the government realized hivi ta bwana it's beyond this rank we need people who can respond to terrorism and that is when they when they started now engaging the army and the reckless squad because how do you work on your dimension wewe unafikiria Kenya inaweza kuwa inajua hii na shetani yao yajui na Mungu je mtazoma ya Mungu bwana asifiwe sana the bible says that he goes and takes those seven demons do you know it is very dangerous to backslide uki backslide top up ile na kujaga ni ngapi saba na Yesu akasema and they enter and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first na akasema nini so shall so shall it be with this wicked generation has the demons stopped behaving like this no jesus said this generation will experience that if they don't stay well Now, why did I read that scripture not to exalt the demons? I know God is exalted above. I read that scripture because I want them to show you there are ranks in the kingdom of darkness. And the way the devil fights battles, he knows that if I am threatened here, I need to get a higher backup that is more trained and more wicked than me. That's how demons fight. Are we together? The next time you'll find somebody who is troubling this and somebody who has backslidden just know that the first demons you need to bind is first of all eight demons maybe you should need to say eight demons in this brother out tuana tunaanza hapo ni eti kwa nini zile zingine sapa na hii moja hii ilikuwa red road sio listen how do ranks operate we need to understand them. They are operate depending with power. Now, there is somebody who challenged Jesus. A centurion when his servant was unwell. If you read that in Luke chapter 7 verses 6 to 10, the Bible says and Jesus went with them when he was not far from the house. The centurion sent friends saying to him, "Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof." Una mtu unaweza sikia akiongea hata wewe utake kujua huyu mtu. Kwani ni nani? Mjasiri mwingine. Bwana asifiwe sana. Imagine huyo sentari anatuma na Yesu aambiwe asikuje kwa hiyo nyumba. Pasi sema nasema therefore I did not presume to come to you but say the word and let my servant be healed. Now this soldier as an Italian is a, is a rank si ndio ana alijilinganisha na yeye kama vile ni ni polisi na ni mkubwa akasema kuna mambo mengine mimi sifai kuina mauko na huyu Yesu vile nimesikia akiwa introduced nafikiri hata yeye lazima huyo ulimwengea inakuanga na rank kwani yeye hawezi tumana vile mimi natumananga si atumane bwana asifiwe sana kama mimi ninatumana yaani kulingana na huyu jamaa ingekuwa ni ile mambo yetu ya line of duty hii hata sifai kufika huko hii tu ni over even no hivyo and that is what how he challenged Jesus na akasema verses 8 for i too am a man set under authority with soldiers under me and i said to one go and he goes to another come and he comes and to my servant do this and he does it when jesus heard these things he marveled at him and turning to the crowd that followed him said i tell you not even in israel have i found such faith and when those who had seen who had been sent returned to the house they found the servant well praise the lord imagine that is what stopped jesus from going there There are places you should not go but you need a rank that can command them praise the lord 
Now, when you have a higher spiritual rank, you are able to be very effective even sometimes without going to some place. You know, when you operate in a big rank, it's better for you. And God is calling us to rise higher in bigger ranks in the spirit. I'll show you how you can rise in ranks. Hallelujah. Now look here. The president, that is a rank. Because we have presidents, we have governors, we have senators, we have women reps, we have members of parliament, we have MCAs. Sidio, if an MCA goes today, Alamu asimame kwa hile kitu ya president Uhuru Kenyatta. Aseme, fellow Kenyans, from tomorrow until Thursday, I declare it to be a holiday. Will you refuse to go to work? Eh? It's an MCA who has said that. And he's speaking from state house. What, what, what comes into your mind first? What do you have to do with Mama Hapa? Any, keep your quasi on a doubt. That is the first thing. What if the president stands in Kipra, Hapa tu kwa yo siwe jimahali wa kibuko wa kiangalia vila na idopi na kaa. Aseme, Jeshi ye, Jeshi ya. Waza nataka ni seme kutoka kesho ni hori de baka dhasti. Utakuwa na shida na yo? Kwa nini? Yuri ya meongea. Kwa hivyo ata ongea kiwa wapi? Kiwa mochake kina muruhusu kuongea hiyo na ifanyiki. Kiwango kile mungu anataka tufikia watu wa mungu ni kiwango kama hicho na zaidi. Lakini tukianza kuishi kama wa kristo wa mbao wa liyokolo tumoja yesu tuende binguni. Nataka kukuambia kuna mambo mengi sana tutashindo kuyakamata. Na tutaishi chini ya viwango zetu wa mbaso mungu wa likuwa na tamani tuishi. So, he himself is a rank. Doesn't matter where he speaks from. As long as it is him, he can see there are things he has spoken in, in, in a church. President Ariogea Kiko Wakanisa. And it became. Alright? Praise the Lord. So sometimes it's not where you are. It is your position. The position that you have. That office. Because every rank behaves like an office. There is a man here who knew ranks. His name was Goriath. Goliath understood ranks and he knew how ranks work. And he knew he had a big rank as an enemy of God's people. Because if you read like 1 Samuel 17 from verses 10 moving forward. <laughs> verses 10 he says, then the Philistine said, this day I divide the armies of Israel. Another version says, I divide the ranks of Israel. Another one says that. The ranks. I divide them. Divide means I make them useless in my presence. None of the ranks will face me and succeed. Now, if you hear an enemy who is speaking, identifying ranks, that's a, an enemy who knows how to fight them. You <laughs> say, and he say, give me a man. And let us fight each other. And the Bible says in verses 11, On hearing the Philistines once, Saul and all the Israelites were dismayed and terrified. Now, if somebody said, I have divided all the lands that you have, and I declare all of you useless. <laughs> you see, Jamaa Mbaya, anajisikia, akona kitu, eh? Kumutu anajirewa. Imagine those are kind of demonic forces that we fight with. Yet when you are fighting for you, 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 you even don't know where you are. You know? You don't know where you are. Now, I'm going to mix up both the things that boost your rank and the things that decline your rank. Because a rank can be declined. It can come down. It can be reduced. Ranks can be reduced. 
And when your rank is reduced, it means there are things that you will not be able to command again. Are we together? Taku Maria kama mnasikiza ama mlirana. Kwani neno ni ngumu sana. Tusiponjua hii watu wa Mungu kuna viwango tutawahi toka. Mawazo yetu kuna mahali itakuwa imehaniwa hivi tu. Ili aniwa pale aitokange. Kuna kuna macho tutafunguliwa. Ni neno la Mungu alinafungua watu macho. Bwana asifiwe sana. The first thing that makes people to lose rank and the power in a rank is when somebody mixes him or herself with worldliness or worldly things. Paul was saying, once you become a soldier, you should not bother yourself with the affairs of the civilians. That is what Paul would say. I don't know why the word of God really loves the police, the force. God likens everything with the force. Paul alikuwa anasema, "Wewe si kuwa askari, alafu uanze kukaa kama raia. Na unafanya mambo kama raia. Na unaogopa kama raia." Joshua in the book of Zechariah chapter 3 verses 3 to 7 kuna kitu tunaona na Joshua. Zechariah 3 verses 3 to 7. Now Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes as he stood before the angel. The angel said to those who were standing before him, "Take off the, his filthy clothes." Then he said to Joshua, "See, I have taken away your sin, and I will put fine garments on you." Then I said, "Put a clean turban on his head." So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed him, while the angel of the Lord stood by. The angel of the Lord gave this chance to Joshua. This is what the Lord Almighty says. After now he is restored. If you will walk in obedience to me and keep my requirements, then I will govern my house. and have charge of my courts and I will give you a place among this standing here meaning he did not have a place ukisoma hapo mbele imeanza Joshua alikuwa na mangua machafu and the bible says na shetani akawa amesimama kando na yeye actually the devil was standing I think on the right hand why that time his rank was down because he had filled the crowds He had mixed up with the world. Any time a believer begins to become worldly, what happens? Shh. Mamlaka yako inawekwa chini ya kiroho. Mimi kuna majaribu majaribu ulikuwa unashinda ambayo hautaweza kushinda. Mimi kuna mahali haungerogeka na sasa unaweza kuroga urogeke. Mimi kuna vitu asije kundisappoint katika maisha lakini sasa sina sina kundisappoint. There are things you would go through in life and they would not disappoint you. You are so hardened to resist. You would still trust God that you will move forward. But when this happens, you begin to comply. What did God do? He sent an angel to remove the problem so that this guy can be restored to his rank. And now he is told, now I can give you a place among these people who are standing here. Because when he was there, he was a junior. But now God is beginning to introduce him and restore his rank. Praise the Lord. And that is why my brothers, my sisters, there is no way you can say that you came to Jesus and you still practice mitishamba. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. If anything those mitishamba now will become more worse on you because zimeanza kusikia hatari. Okay? There are things you should not allow to to come around your life if you want to rise a rank don't allow those worldly things to come around you there are things that if you don't allow them to come around near your heart or your relationship with god there are things that you will never you will not fight 
I want to tell you, you can enter a car and an accident that the devil had set for that matatu, it is bought just because of your presence in that car. Because of the rank. Yes. You can disorganize a plan of the enemy. When your rank is rising, something that you are not able to do, somehow God begins to send helpers. That is how it happens. And that is why if you find yourself in a thing that has made you to fall, don't sleep there. Rise up. Dust yourself. Begin to walk. And begin to rise your rank. So any time you consistently begin to practice these things of the kingdom, just know that there is a rank you are raising for yourself. Praise the Lord. And you, God is putting you at a place of command. In the book of Joshua chapter 7, if you read from verses 9, it's a big story. If you read Joshua chapter 7, all of it, the better. It is after Joshua had conquered Jericho. And Jericho was down. But now, there was another smaller city called Ai. Ai. And that is the city now they were to conquer. Do you know what they did? They underestimated that small town. And they said, ah, this one is small. We even don't need to send a lot of army. We can send a small group of soldiers and they will conquer that city. But you know what? When they went there, they were chased away until they ran and the enemies to the back of the children of God. So, Joshua was complaining to God and he was telling him, what has happened, my Lord? That the Israelites have shown their enemies their back. That a back is a very precious thing that God's people should not show the enemy. If the enemy has seen your back, that is illegal. And as Joshua was falling down there trying to put sackcloth and ashes, God told him, wake up! Israel has sinned and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them. For they have even taken of a cast thing and have also stolen and have and disabled also. And they have put even among their own stuff. Jericho. Na Biblia inasema mimi sijui ilikuwa ni lakini inasemekana they were dedicated items. Items that zilikuwa ziko dedicated kwa madhabahu ya ya miungu ya huko. Lakini yeye aliona dhahabu ni kama uingie kwa hii msikiti wa Haiti. Vitu vitu mingi sana za dhahabu. Ukiipa kanisani unaendelea kuwa maskini. Ukiipa nini ya Haiti unakuwa bilionea because wanapelekeanga miungu yao vitu za dhamana sana. Unapata the happy way to move, you can see my baby, Akidawayona, Kidawayonga, Akiskiagi, Rakini, and I'm many who you need to move from. Now, you know, let that change, can say. So, Muki Papa, at a sign, a pocky for his speaker, his speakers, because he has a few hundred thousand. Muskiti, a Muhindi, Ukiana, here come the point of Tengazawa Pari, the work of Akitu, the Kyo Baka, Pipi Hoho. Now, up. Then you get in a cargo. I love to see a dark wheel and they have been impacted a lot of powers of darkness. It's not every rank sometimes that can do that. <laughs> Let me not say what I want them to say. I might be mistaken. Listen. As they were going to the battle, Akan had carried those, those things. So what were they doing? Those things were boosting the other enemies. Because the moment you have things that don't go by the ordinances of God. They are backing your enemy. And that is how they were beaten. And God is telling, these people, they have sinned. You see? So, if you want to rise a higher rank and operate with command, wachana kuchakanyati imamba ya mungu na mungu mingine. Wanaswe sana. Wacha kuchanganya. 
tipi sahi tuko na wapiri wengi sana wana wapiri yuko. Niliwambia ndiyona mwingine ya meweka ka, ka rohia. Hon. Unajua kuna, kuna tribe zingine hapa zina kujanga kwa mungu zikiwa zimeongesa na, 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 na kaukwao. Suna zijua. Wa, hata ukingia kwa hiyo kanisa. Utazema latazima mchungaji wa huko ya wali makutoka kwa kabila fulani. Hire, you know, kuna uwepo wa, wa huko anaweka hiyo karuhia. Sasa, anasema, tuma pesa hapa. Utume 1,000 and 100, diyo roho amesema. Ikifika tu, mimi naandika jina yako kwa ikaratasi. Alafu ikaratasi, nitaiweka kwa she, hon, i oil ya, ya ruhia. Mekua zase hii, nasema mamuraka. Alafu, wacha ni wanashi na hile majina imefika kwaza. Anaweka hivya doto. Unaona? Unaona vile mafuta ina mwagika? Unaona? Ebu tuma yako na otu, tuweke hapa. Na mimi ni najua kuna watu wako hapa na wame tumanga hizo pesa. No wanda anga yako imekauka kama kuni. Uka kuna jua watu wanapandishi yako wanga mpila kuelewa. Diyo maana mimi ya watu wanapapaka huko wa street wese kipatia kila mtu. Kuna mtu utapatia hapo, aki utakaukiwa the next two years. Kapisa? Au utapata saidi ya fea? Na chakura hiyo siku ya diyoni. Na ulifikiria ni kusaidia umesaidia. Some of these people are altars. Na misi sabi kusaidia watu. Mimi nasikisama kaa nafaa kusaidia mtu. Mimi kuna watu nilipata hapa 2000 wakati nilingia na ilopi nikawapata kwa street wakifanyafanya hiyo kitu. Na mpaka saa hini na wanaka. Na hiyo inaniambia huyu mtu siyo vya likuwa mekuja asaidike. Amekuja na roho yake. Na unaona wengine the year higher. Siku siku kulikulusu watia mbasipare karipu na, na Ken, eh, commercial. Wengine walikuwa na kaha hapa hata diyo walikuwa na kibia kuliko wale walikuwa na kibia kuliko <laughs> Kuna wakati inafika mtu wa nakuwa liru. Kuna tiyo unaza kumbuka ulikuwa mbate uka mbuka ndia pesa ya. Watu wengine muna pea luku ni kama madabau. Aki, aki shika tumbola iyo pesa tuli toko mbo. Di, ok, sita ya kusikisa matue kama wahidi. But unajua muhidi ni gumu sana kukupatia pesa uitua kwa mikono yake. Ana actually anapatia naka na left. Mungo inji visa ni kwa nini? Ana wapa usichukule utajiri yake. Alafu sana anakweke hapo wele nchichukulie. Nilijaribu kupatia mtu mwingine pesa. Nikuwe ni mshika left. Haka nimbia nipatia pesa na mkona mzuri. Nika bandisha sasa nika patia rezo. Haka nimbia hii mkona si mzuri ya kupeana pesa. Watu umepipa maimani mi. Mimi I don't care where you are, you give me. Wala 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 What is mine you cannot take away. Praise the Lord. And that is why believers, we need to walk in authority and power of God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There are some truths about ranks that you need to know. One of the truths about ranks is that ranks are not the same. We have higher and lower ranks. Another truth about rank is that ranks represent different levels of authority and commands. There are ranks that can command higher and others have got lower command. Lungs can be increased, can be promoted, and they can also be decreased. So whatever happens to a rank, it also affects the power and the level of the command that you need to have. Ranks, sometimes, they are awarded, they come through award. By merits, Ukisikia mtu wamepandishu wa cheo, ni kwa sababu kuna kitu wamefanya, kikafanya, hafanya nini? Aungezwe. Sindio? If you become a manager from an office messenger, something must have taken you there. Sindio? Kuna mtu walizema, ukipata kope njuu ya muti. Elewa kuna mtu, alipandisha hapa. Hakuna kope angeza panda hapa. Sindio? Lungs can be awarded. There is a way you can stay with God. You you might not know where you where you are, but there is a way life will begin working 
Maybe after three months down the line, you realize something must have changed in my life. This is not me three months ago. Praise the Lord. Yes. Unapata kuna mali, unapata kibali ingine ambayo hauko una unajua watu wanaanza kukupatia pesa ambayo hujawahi ona ukipewa zikuwa za free I'm very happy with my my daughter Mary here she was asking me questions kuna mwanasiasa alikuja akipeana pesa hapo kazini and people are crowding for money at 1500 mimi nikuulize swali mtu atapeana 1500 na si si charity work na hawe hajui anapeana kwa nini Some of these money is that you see politicians doing That money carries intention And if you don't respond to the intention there are also consequences attached They will not tell you that that part of the story We can discuss in one of them that we know from our area It reads his mind Last time was some of the Mtu ataanza kwenda hivi na nani? Come get. Kwenda libas. Eh? Bona kiri. Mtu akuja tu apeana 1500. Ai? Bona kwa na peana hiyo wakati mwingine wote. Na unajua sasa ukishachukua umeshaingia kwenye utawala wake. The moment you receive it. Umeingia kwa hiyo utawala. Usiende kusema eh hey, niliyanukia kwaishi kuri kwa hapa tuwe. Yeye unatupatia. Nimepata sapa. Unakula hiyo sapa. Na kwa hiyo unaanza mwanzo wengine atumbo ambayo haijawahi kuwa na wewe unaanza kushindwa kunaenda aje. Kutoka hapo hospitali hospitali kisirani kisirani. Some of these things they are not they, this is money yenye imetolewa dhabiu <coughs> na kusudi ya kuipeana ni kwamba iwe na ustawishi wa kurasmita cha mtu kufanya mapenzi ya mwenye kupeana but as long as you have taken it basi kuna kwa trap na ile maandiko inasema a curse without a cause has no effect meaning if a curse has a reason to affect you it is going to affect you Usi chukue chipre hivyo Huyo mtu acha tuone akipeana after nine elections ndio tuamini nyingine amehusu anafanya charity work Hata apeana tu 200 There are things we need to reject brethren I told you when I used to stay in Mombasa wakati hizi wanani wana unajua hiyo chakula inapea na kwa hiyo ya waislamu hiyo ati hata unajua kuna ndugu wetu muislamu unajua leo Ramadhani wanafungua wana celebrate Ramadhani na leo na mko 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 choma wewe endelea kuangukia endelea tu kuangukia wewe alikuja kipeana kwa stores zetu zote watu fulani wakakuja na hizo manyama kwangu mimi siku nimechukua. Nikamuuliza pasta hii tu kule ama tusikule? Nikauliza swali moja. Wakati umenunua nyama kwa mbuchari, mbona uko hivi na maswali? Umwe uliza ni kule ama ni sikule? Mbona unauliza na hii nyama? That one by itself tells you. There is a voice you are not decoding that is telling you nikuba. <laughs> Because in the quota tayari celebration ya kutolea miungu na wengine wamekuta tayari. Ndio <coughs> maana ukilo yako imekauka na iko na echo. Iko na echo. Atena jioni kolik. Na wengine wameenda mpaka kwa hizo vitu tena wanachoma wana zile mapani zinanukia. Mimi mm, nika kitu kananukia. Unajua so, so, some of those mapani ni zile za kwa peace demons. Kuna ni mmoja walikuwa wametengeneza kitabu ilikuwa inaitwa Bintu ya Sudan hiyo kapafu na kulikuwa na powder but later on it was realized in hizo vitu zilikuwa za kuwa peace demonic forces na zilikuwa zinaunguliwa sana wewe unajua kuna mafuta unaweza ajipanga upate kizirani throughout ukipotelea pande hii mwana wasimu amekushika ma 
Ukienda ukimia pande mwingine. Ha! Unazidi wale kwani kwani kumeenda hapo. Hao watu ni kama wananipokea kunipokea kunipokea. Lazima tufunguke macho. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lands are awarded by merits and lands are always given by a higher authority. Hallelujah. There is no way somebody in a lower rank or authority can give you a higher rank that inataka kukupandisha mamlaka. Mamlaka inapandisha kwa Mungu. Kwa hiyo maana Mungu wetu ametupandisha mamlaka. Lands are bound by terms and conditions which must be kept. Meaning kiwango unapoingia kwa rank lazima uishi kulingana na certain terms and conditions. The moment you modify those terms you have affected your land. Yes. They carry different responsibilities. Ranks are always recognized and they are accorded honor. Angalia kama Paul wanatembea mahali kuhubiri. Anasema this are servants of the most high God. But then after he said what that ngeli kwa natembea nasikia na sio hata nimevaa suti hata nikiwa nimevaa tu manje wale watu mnapatananga na nini wiki dzi kwangu hivi si muna nionanga bila nakufanga uko tu mahali tu na fuel na ba pasta uko na sio salama utanunua hii pasta mtu tu anakuidentify na hata nakulazimisha wewe ni pasta wewe unafikiri hiyo understanding inatoka wapi anakuanga ukisikia mtu amekuita kitu kama hiyo kitu ya kwanza ni rank ameona namba 2 huyo aongee tu na mdomo anaongea kutoka kwa anga ndio ina ina respond na ina respond kwa rank listen even in the kingdom of god the angels are ranks they have hierarchies and we see there are nine hierarchies from what i've read from some historical books and the other books of servants of god of angels we have the seraphim and these are called the angels of God's presence their work is just to to be there to reflect the glory of God the seraphim these are the angels that that used to be in the holy of holies where there was the the tent the the holy place and the holy of holies that was behind the curtain there the covenant box beside it there used to be seraphim the angels of god's presence and they are said to be having the highest rank because yule mtu ambaye anakaa kwa uwepo si yeye ndiye kuna kiwango kikubwa sana ama unafikiri yeye kuna nini fight and yako na nini they also the cherubim they are said to have so many eyes i don't know who saw those eyes <laughs> and uh, they, they it is believed that cherubims are the ones that discharge wisdom knowledge they bring enlightenment they are the ones that make God's people to operate in a certain levels of intelligence even without the papers that you have i mean something beyond the natural systems praise the lord they are called the cherubims and they are like the second in com- command when it comes to the ranking So they are sent to to be radiators of also God's divine knowledge. They cause people to understand the mysteries of God. We are not to worship angels or to call them, but these are ranks. We also have others called drones. Drones are said to be the observers of justice. They discharge justice. They bring justice. And they come and bring justice to God's people. We've got others called dominions. Okay, there are scriptures I'm not putting them but there are scriptures still the like Colossians 1:16 for that. The the the, is, the dominions are the ones that instruct the earthly authorities. Do you know still at some level God uses angels to work even with people who are in authority because whatever decision they make affects his people. So there is a way God also works by instructing them in a way that they will not understand. But somehow, now let me give you a good example. There was Joseph in prison 
when Pharaoh had a dream. What was the dream? Seven cows. Some were weak, some were very fat. And all of a sudden, the fat ones started swallowing the weak ones. But there was no interpretation and there was no interpreter for that. So what was troubling Pharaoh that time was, what does this dream mean? And that is when Joseph now was located from prison to come and bring what? Interpretation. Let me ask you, because Joseph is a Jew, and he is the one who worships through God, why couldn't God instead give Joseph that dream? Because he is the one who is now from the Jews, from, from the community of God, instead of giving uh, the Pharaoh, you know? Why? Have you ever thought about that? It was because at that time it is Father who is the king and he is making decisions that are affecting uh, people who are under him. So God still has a mission with people. Even in a wicked leader, there is a way God comes in to help. Praise the Lord. So those dominions are you believe to be those angels that execute a lot of wisdom when it comes to governance. They bring influence so that sometimes when the king wants to go emotional and they do things the way, you know, and it's part of two, part of Kumbuka, Kenya is bigger than him. And I believe we trigger these powers and these thrones when we, we continue praying and making prayers that God don't allow the nation of Kenya to go in the wrong direction. So, because your voice cannot be heard from state house, God uses the one who is there. Look at people like Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar. They were dreaming dreams. But God's people were interpreting them. Now, they were in the best position to dream that kind of a dream because he's the one who can execute what he has dreamt. But yours cannot go there. There's a message that God sometimes would want to speak to the president. But because of your lung, in terms of the gifting that you have, Sasa itabidi tumika na mtu ambaye ako juu kidogo mwenye anaweza enda pale apatane na yeye. Otherwise kama sio hiyo, enda pale na mata, ufukua fukue kidogo mtu alisiku wa jana, usome jina useme frani frani out. Akisimama, sema haya, niko na ujumbe wa president. Hapo itafika. Tukua tunaona maiti imesimama. Amefukua <laughs> mtu. Wewe ukifunga mtu kuna mtu atakataa kukusikia kitu kingine. Bas. Praise the Lord. Kuna other level of judges when I talk about powers. They in charge of executing miracles. When we are praying and we see the things that happen in church, they in charge of that and many other things. They give us strength. They give us strength, you know, you are able to come back again with strength, with strength. Even after failing or meeting things that have disappointed your life. We also have authorities. Authorities. Authorities are known to crush the evil powers. They are in charge of handling and addressing demonic forces. And we also have principalities. Principalities, they command the lower angels. They instruct them and they help them to fulfill the will of God. We've got what we call the archangels. The archangels, these ones are now big, like Edo, Edo Michael. The archangels, they, they carry and reveal the mysteries of God. They are in charge of a lot of foresight. And we also have the normal angels. These angels are known to be the closest to the people. Anytime you are in a church and you are praying, and you are moving in a place, you feel like there's a place that is having a straight presence. And when you leave, you feel like this is different. When you come here, somehow you're beginning to speak in tongues. Very likely there is an, an angel standing there. Very likely. And these angels are all. Anytime you are worshiping here, anytime we are lifting our hearts to God, we are not alone. So, I am about to finish and I want to say this. There are people in the Bible who moved in very high rankings until they would cause God to change his mind. Number one is like Moses. The Bible talks about Moses. What was he the, the most humble person? Humility that moved God. Until one time when God wanted
meant to destroy people. He said, begin with me, Sidio. And God refused. <laughs> now, kuna mtu anasema, begin with me. Hata kabla hiyo same decision. Hata alikuwa anangoja utasema nini? Sababu unatesa watu. God was unable until now he had to decide to bring another design. You see, these were guys who were operating very high ranks in the realm of the spirit. And even Joshua. Actually one time Joshua is standing somewhere and the angel is coming. Akasema, wewe ni andui ya moko upande wetu. Na ima reka akasema, mimi ni upande wetu. Mwana Jesu nimetumwa kutoka bikuni kusaidia wana wa Israeli. Wana zibuwe sabi. A guy who can question an angel. Kasawe ukana an angel labda ziwa kodi. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ata yuro wa divina. No. You need to know. You need to know. There's a time we used to preach in a place called Karurumo in Embu. That was 2002. Sisi tulikuwa tunafuwa kwa tunalika tukua mission. Na tunapasi. Tunapata kesha ukua zikuwa zimepasiwa. Na hakuna mtu walipasi. That was 2002. The ministry of angels is real. Listen. Genesis chapter 18. Ukisoma kutoka 17. Kwa mbuko. Kuna kitu moja mbuko anasema hapa. Then the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I'm about to do? Can God speak about a person who wakawaida kitu kama yo? Nabiya wana unafichwa. Siwa unafichwa mako. Shall I really hide from Abraham? God is unable to hide. May God bring us to such levels in Jesus' name. Oh yes. When we know things that are about to happen, And it is God planning them. God could not be able to hide even the story of death to Ezekiah. He sent a prophet. His rank was very high. These are not people who just die from road accident. They needed to die in a prepared way. Hallelujah. And he said, go and tell him you will not recover from that sickness. The man of a high rank faced the war and said, He did not respond to the prophet. He talked to the one who sent him. God, can I remind you something? Do you know I walked on foot from his knee to, to, to charge him the city many times? I have to say that you are talking. You know, he started reminding God. Before, I don't know, Kama Lvira likuwa melutu kwa madabao yake, Isaiah. Kapra hajafika, Sauti kakuja tena. Isaya, Isaya. Ni wakulino wanatumulisema ni kama mungu na mungu. Isaya, Isaya, Isaya. Enda umambie ni miongeza kumila tano. Mimi nigekua Isaya na mimi nigeita secretary. Secretary, kuja. Mimi siwe sirudisha hii kitu. Jume ni meache hapo yuja mata sujika mata kwa hai. Enda umambie mungu wa miongeza. Inu, ukisikia hipu. Kwenda ku anindu. Abraham will surely become a great and a powerful nation. Look at what God was looking at. That Abraham would become. That time he was not yet. But he would become. Because of the land that Abraham would carry, God felt that I need to share secrets. I pray that a desire will be provoked in your heart. That you will desire to get to a place where God will also desire to share secrets with you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Ukiangalia Jeremiah chapter 15. From verses 1 to 3. Then the Lord said to me, Even if Moses and Samuel should stand before me, my heart would not go out to these people. There are people that God mentions in his presence. He says these people can cause me to think otherwise. But on this issue, they will not change me. You know? Can you be mentioned there? Look, Job chapter 1 verses 8. God responded to the devil when the sons of God were showing themselves. Have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on earth? A blameless and upright man 
One who fears God and shuns evil. Praise the Lord. What a people. Are you desiring this? Very much. Yeah? Brethren, we should change. We should change our desires and expectations the way we perceive God now. We should not just sit there and wait for Jesus to come so that we can go to heaven. We need to rise in ranks. Praise the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 14, verses 14. Son of man, let me start from 13. Son of man, if the land sins against me by acting unfaithful, and I stretch out my hand against it to cut off its supply of food, to send famine upon it, and to cut off from both man and beast, then if these three men, who, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, their righteousness could deliver only themselves, declares the Lord. Because of their righteousness. Righteousness boosts your spiritual ranking in the presence of God. Hallelujah. It is a boost. How can you rise in ranks spiritually? One practicing righteousness. It is going to give you a boost. Number two, growing in faith consistently. Don't believe God today and doubt him tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Consistently. Make consistent spiritual growth. Amen. Being loyal to your duties and responsibilities. Loyalty causes you to rise in ranking. Yes. If you are loyal wherever you work, I give you a secret today. Go and tell God, I stand on the ground of your work. Because of the loyalty that I have in this place of work. Lord, raise me. Remove me from this level. It is possible. Number four. Developing intimacy with God. Form a habit where you would want to be develop closeness with God. How do you develop closeness with God? Going to church is one of the ways you can develop closeness with God because you are meeting with the brethren, you will challenge your heart, you will challenge you to, to you know to, to, to grow spiritually, to, to, to repent, to, to, to think deeper and higher about God. Praise the Lord. You know, reading his word, doing things that are going to attract. God higher and more in your life. Number five, growing in the revelation of God. Some of us know God in a very small way. You need to know him in many ways. People like Isaac came to know him as Jehovah Rehoboth. The God who settles you in a place and you will not be moved again. There were others Knowing him in different names, Ebenezer, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shama, God is everywhere. Praise the Lord. Number six, exercising faith. The more you exercise the faith in God, the more you are provoking your spiritual stamina to begin to grow. And in so doing, you find yourself rising. There are things that Worried you before that will not begin to worry you because you raised your faith. There is a sister in our ministry and she will allow me to speak this testimony. And even the person involved is there speaking this to the glory of God. So that sister, the child, the, 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 the child, 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 what shall we do? connect you. What shall we do? exercise what? Faith. Kitu ya kwanza inform your pastor of what you are going through. Siku na tuwaka tayi di uko? Eh. Na ofadi? Eh. Na unandaka kandisa uko? Eh. If that is a true pastor, he needs to know how he can solve that problem. That's what I told her. She is here, she is listening what I'm saying. Nika mwambia number two. Kwe sikuwa hauna marafiki wazuri mahali. Tafuta marafiki kama kumi hivi ya makumi na tano. Apo unajua they are good friends. Write a list down. 
ukiangalia pastor Ken anaanza toa tuke pastor Frani anaanza toa mdugu Frani anaanza toa mzo mbili fana alikuwa anataka ku raise kama 35000 nikamwambia you know what on that day huyo mtoto wako hiyo ndio ndio anasema atakuwa shule declared it nikamwambia create that whatsapp group immediately and put me there sio ati ni wewe divani haya sasa piga pande ile vitu vingine ukipeana na wewe ingia ndani bwana siwe sana that is how we started we saw the hand of god doing the wonderful thing actually kutoka kwa hiyo kanisa wakati aliambia pastor wake akapata 15000 can you imagine 15000 lakini by that time tulikuwa in darkness atuko tunajua tutafanya nini nikamwambia imepatikana hiyo haya mimi niweke yangu nikatoa yangu ile nilitoa wengine nini let me tell you that girl is in school praise the lord you need to exercise faith believe that there are people you can tell something that and God will use them as systems that will deliver solutions to your life yes sometimes it happens like that the other thing is prayer and fasting we saw disciples unable to cast out a demon meaning the demon had a higher rank than them before they fasted praise the lord that means when you pray and you fast you increase a spiritual rank and that is why jesus told them such cannot come except by prayer and fasting there is a life that you cannot experience if you don't practice these things there are battles you try to fight until you get there you may think you have what you what you wanted but the day you practice this is when you realize i was very far from what i needed praise the lord so jesus told them you mentioned my name that was okay whatever the terminology used to cast what is okay but your your lung was not able to generate the lung of that demon you then how to raise a lung against such you pray and fast all right the other thing is reading the word of god and doing it obey the word you unlock a lung you unlock a lung you want to see financial breakthrough One of the lungs that will raise you to that is when you do what God speaks about between you and money and his work. When you do that, it's going to happen. I've been having time with God, looking and preparing for this message because he dropped it in my heart and God knew that today people will rise in ranks. Praise the Lord. I will not be surprised when you tell me you are promoted at your workplace. I will not be surprised when you tell me somebody has just decided to humble and say i am sorry what i did was wrong what has happened you have challenged that atmosphere that was stable and the person feels like he need to submit to you now for reasons the person cannot tell just feels that this is the only way i need to respond praise the lord and the last one is desiring to rise in higher dimensions of god's operations desiring to rise when you desire to rise that oh god i'm tired of just being a christian a believer who is just neutral who cannot even do anything when you begin to do that i want to tell you when you begin to do that you desire the faithful god almighty is going to make it happen I feel a strong conviction that ranks here will go up. There are cases that affected your family somehow utakuwa unajiuliza na kuna mtu aliniombea how comes I'm no longer subject to this. There are doors you thought they were very far somehow God will magnify them and zoom them near you. you develop a purity that is going to change everything about you i want you to believe god for this what we are preaching here is not entertainment god prepared it to come let us rise up in the name of jesus christ and you know god, what our god is ready to do all these things
It's not a master that lays hands on you, but you can claim it. Today we are disorganizing the devil. Others' patterns. We are disorganizing. We are disorganizing. Mungu akakwambia 
Mungu awezi akatuma neno lake bure haijawahi fanyika na haitawahi fanyika lazima kiwango cha mtu kiende juu Kwa hapo, na unataka hii mbuso 
kutoka wanafanyika kuwa watumishi wa Mungu. Yaani kutoka leo hautafikiria tena kama mchi likawa kawaida. Maana kile nimesikia Mungu imekuja juu yako ila kuadilisha kiwango cha mimi unachukua.
Amen. Everyone in this place, 
and bless their families represented. Lord, even those who have been hurt in various ways, may there be a healing in your time. I declare there shall be no disappointment in your life from today. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will chase what chased you away. In the mighty name of Jesus, the assignments in the kingdom of darkness that left you low, they will find you high and you will command them down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord sharpen the discernment. May you begin to hear him. Can you pray in tongues? If you pray in tongues for a moment, if you pray in other understanding, just in a moment, just speak to God. Let's have an indication of those who take care of you. If you don't speak in tongues, the Lord can give you. Receive it. Chase you. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you because today, the 3rd of July 2022, oh, marks our day of encounter. Thank you, Nothing will bring us down again. Thank you, In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Lord, we shall write this date yes, and we will name it the day our ranks went up. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for every person, those who came with various names, oh God. Yes. You know every person. Answer them accordingly, God. We receive this grace today. Thank you. Thank you because you've honored us. Bless our visitors. We give you glory. We give you honor. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to appreciate God with that. With that. A real clap. Jesus. One announcement. Uh, if you came here and you are struggling with this transport on your way back, don't go by vein. Just see.